Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my planner videos. Welcome to the most important planner video of the year. This is my complete, thorough, detailed setup for 2019. I am in love with the way I've been planning for the last few months. I honestly have planner peace. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know I use a binder, like a plain old, well not plain old, the most beautiful binder ever created. <laughs> but a simple binder as my daily agenda, and I just love this system, so I'm gonna show you the completely updated layout I have in here, and then I also just can't help myself I'm in love with my Louis Vuitton agenda because it's so pretty, and it's a lot to cover, and I wanna go page by page, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and take you guys along. So here are my two babies. Which one should we look at first? Let's look at the binder first, because this is more the nitty gritty workhorse, hardcore planning that I do. So this binder, for those who don't know, I found at Target. It is truly a beautiful specimen of binderhood. It's this like baby pink, like faux leather with rose gold corners. I hate to tell you it's very, very hard to find, but I do have tips in another video for how to find it. So I will link that down below. Like I said, it's from Target, but it's not online for some horrible reason. <laughs> But once you open it up, this is what I have in here. I'm obviously a grown adult, but I like to have a fun, kind of playful, almost like I'm still in school kind of binder. It just makes me happy on a daily basis. It makes wor work less stressful. It makes life more fun. And pink is my favorite color, obviously. So that's why this looks the way it does. But I have this laminated sheet with various stick it notes and stickers and just little options to use while I'm planning. I have some very cute little clips down here, including these little bow clips I'm obsessed with that my friend Lauren got for me. So cute. And then over here is just a clear zipper pouch and this is where I like to keep my pins. I have friction pastel highlighters. They are my favorite highlighters because you can erase them and they come in the cutest pastel colors. So they're not like harsh neon highlighters. They're very soft and gentle. I have a couple others of my favorite pins in there and that is it. Oh, and a Disney guide map from the holidays because it was so pretty and I just like seeing it in there. Now this is something I'm so proud of, so happy with, so pleased about. And this is my 2019 vision board and I just feel like it turned out so great. It is my favorite vision board I've ever done. If you've been with me for a while, you know I do a vision board every single year. I think it's such a fun little project. It kind of motivates me. It kind of gives me something to focus on for the year ahead. It helps me crystallize and visualize my goals and just what I want more of in my life. So I love doing this. I've got a video on my process, but I like to make it in Photoshop. Basically, I just compile images that kind of speak to me and I put them together digitally the same way you would put together like an actual magazine vision board with scissors and glue. You can totally do it that way. If you are like a little bit more technologically inclined like me, you can do it in Photoshop, but either way, such a fun little project and I just love this. I think it turned out gorgeous. Usually what I'll do is put the year in like my word for the year. I like to pick kind of a word to sort of focus on and direct my energy toward. And this year I really am trying to work on self-love. It's not that I don't already love myself. It's just that you can always grow in this area. And I think it's so important for us, especially women today, just to prioritize self-care and self-love. You know, like it's, it's a harsh world out there. So that's something I'm really working on, letting go of perfectionism, focusing on self-love, and I have all my other goals kind of woven in here, and I just love this. If you guys want a more detailed discussion, let me know. I'm happy to do it, but for now, you can see I'm just kind of using this as a dashboard in my planner. I printed it out. I laminated it. Super easy. I also like to order a full poster size print of it from Kinko's or FedEx and hang it on my wall. Like I go to town with my vision board each year. So this just fills my heart with happy joy every time I open my binder and it helps me remember where I'm trying to direct my life for this year. So that is the first page. It's just like a dashboard, kind of the first thing you see. Then I have these wonderful dividers and I'm very happy about these as well <laughs> because I don't know why I was just really struggling to find dividers that I loved. Like. The options for binder size dividers are kind of 
lame. You can find really great ones, you can make really great ones for like smaller sized agendas, but I just couldn't find any that I really loved. And I was limited to, you know, like Office Depot and Staples and Target, and nothing was rocking my world. But then my super sweet friend Megan that I met here through YouTube sent me some amazing Christmas presents. She's so, so sweet and spoiled me. And one of the things she included were these file folders and they are pink with like gold stripes on them. The perfect shade of pink, might I add. So I was immediately just enamored with these file folders because if you know me, you know, like I take my office supplies pretty seriously like that. Obviously Megan knows that about me because she hooked me up with these and so I was trying to figure out how to get the most possible use out of them because I just adore them and I decided to cut them into dividers. It was so easy because they already had the tabs and all I did was like trace on the back the size of the page and then cut it with a um, paper cutter. I would have laminated it but it's a little too big for my laminator. So that's literally all I did. If you're struggling to find dividers, maybe pick up a set of file folders. Oh, and then obviously just hole punch it. So this first section is my calendar section, and I like to have monthly calendar overviews in my binder. This one, first thing, is a decluttering like project challenge that I'm doing this year. Very excited. It's 365 days of decluttering, and it's for free. Found it through Pinterest, but it's this really cool blog that she offers us for free at Home Storage Solutions, so I'll put the link down below. But each day is like a really simple little decluttering task. I'm behind because I just now found this. So as I do it, I'm going to check off each day. I need to catch up and do like the whole first week, obviously. But then going forward throughout the year, I hope to do it every little day, every task, every day, and just check it off as I go. And I thought that'd be a fun little project. And if you want to do it with me, we can all commiserate on our progress. Then I have these big, beautiful month on two page printouts. They are so spacious. I love having this much room to write. It's amazing if your life is very, very full like mine with always a lot going on. It's so nice to have the bigger squares so you can really write and fill stuff in. Let it be known that I actually use Google Calendar for my main calendar. Like it's easier, it syncs with Nate's calendar, my husband and I can check it from my phone, on the go, wherever. But I still am old school and I like to see a physical planner calendar. So basically what I use this for is to write down anywhere I have to be physically so that I just know, I kind of have peace of mind that I'm not going to like be late for something or miss something. If it's somebody's birthday and I wanna wish them a happy birthday or send a gift, I'll put that in there. But it's mostly just like places I physically have to be. Um, I covered some things up because obviously I don't want the whole internet to know where I'm going to be when, but that's just how I use this calendar. It's reiterating what's already on my Google calendar, but I prefer to look at this because it's just nicer to see a physical calendar. Then I have this binder divider tab. This thing is so convenient. It pops in and out and I just wrote this month at the top of it so that I could flip to the page that I want to get to. Hmm. I just had an idea to use the other half of these file folders to make maybe some more of these because it's really convenient to have a binder bookmark. So I printed out the calendars for the whole rest of the year. It's just these month on two pages spreads. I got this on Etsy. It was a very affordable printable instant download. The thing I love about using my binder is I can just download something or create it myself, print it off on my normal printer. <laughs> hole puncher with my no normal hole puncher and just throw it in here. So it's a very, very cool, easy process. Also, a couple of you guys recommended that I invest, indulge in some nicer paper and I did. And let me tell you, this is like a silky dream. It feels so good. And the paper's just like a little bit heavier so my ink doesn't bleed through when I write on it and I'm just loving it. So thank you for that suggestion. I will link the paper I'm using. It's just some nicer printer paper. I don't do it for everything because, you know, especially if my daily pages just get recycled at the end of the day, whereas these, I'll keep these in here all year, so I thought this was worth having some nicer paper. In my second section, I have a daily, this is like my daily section. I didn't label these, by the way, because I just kind of remember what each section is and I change it up a lot, but if you are firm in your sections, then by all means you should label yours. 
But the first thing I have in here are my little quotidian lists. And I've talked about these before. Basically, it's a daily list of all my re recurring things I try to do every single day. And I like obviously don't want to clutter up my to-do list with all of this. So these are just tasks I try to do every day. It's things like my miracle morning steps, my skincare, little things for health and wellness. I also have a separate list. These are all personal things. I also have a list, the same sort of concept, that's my professional tasks I try to do every day. I'm covering it because I have some stuff relating to clients I don't want to share, but basically these are little things like going through my email, you know, putting out little fires that tend to come up every single day, and I just check that off on weekdays, so that's really easy for me not to drop any balls with my work obligations. Then I have another one of these binder dividers. Again, super convenient. This one just says today so that I can flip you know, when I'm just looking at this at a glance, if I want to flip to today's to-do list, this is how I do it. And I have a number of different daily little to-do inserts that I like to alternate between. The nice thing, the beauty of this system, is that I can pick and choose what suits my day the best. So, for instance, for today, I have my to-do list written out on this free printable from the Productivity Planner. I really like that planner, but it's very um, small and oriented to just, like, one task, whereas this is obviously huge and I can fill in whatever I want to kind of make it fit my day. So I prefer being able to print out their style pages and use it in here instead of in the little planner that you can buy. So that's an awesome perk, plus it's free. It's basically a system that kind of encourages you to limit your daily tasks to just five things and prioritize them in order of importance. So you can see today I broke down creating this video plus some other tasks I want to take care of around the house tonight. and. If it doesn't all get done, that's okay. The point of the system is like start with the most important thing, like no matter what, get this one thing done. So that's how I structured my day today. Also with this system, you kind of plan ahead how long something's going to take by thinking of it in 25 minute increments. That's the Pomodoro technique. You can look that up if you're curious, but basically it kind of helps you target how long a task should take. So that is one little printout I like to use. I have a few of those in here. Then I also have another style of printout. I got this on Etsy, and this was just like an instant download printable thing. I'll link it, and I like this one because it has a schedule on the side. It has, similar to the other one, where it encourages you to pick the most important tasks, but then it also has a to-do list for like overflow items, and for me, that's more realistic on a daily basis because I just have to do way more than five things in a day, unfortunately. This also has a section for menu if you want to plan out what you're going to eat that day, any appointments, which I usually just fill in here on the schedule side. So these are great inserts for me to use when I have a day where I've got a lot of calls, meetings, I'm in and out of the house, etc. but I still have a lot of to-do items that I want to tackle. And then the last printout I like to keep in here is just my printable, which this is also free for you guys. And this is kind of a merger of the two techniques, I would say. Like I write in appointments here if I have just one or two things at a specific time, and then I have a longer to-do list here. And I will try to prioritize this, you know, following the philosophy of those other two inserts. And there's a little notes at the bottom. So based on my day, I pick one of these, I fill it out, and that's all I do for my daily. The next section is my miracle morning section. And I covered a lot of this up because it's all very personal, but if you saw my video on the Miracle Morning is a couple videos ago, and it's all about how the steps that you take every single morning kind of define the rest of your day. And so one of those steps is affirmations. So I like to keep in here a printout of my affirmations. These just focus on my current goals, things I'm working on. Like for instance, right now, you know, like I said, self-love is a big goal for me. So I have a whole set of affirmations on that. If you guys are curious and you want more information, I can go into more in depth. I just thought that was kind of a lot to reveal in a normal planner video. So let me know if you do want more information on that. But basically in the mornings, I read my affirmations to myself. I keep my binder handy, not just during my workday, but also in my miracle morning time in the mornings. The next here, I have some habit trackers. You know, I'm always experimenting with how I wanna track my habits, like what's the most effective way. And since we just started a new year, I felt like I had this beautiful opportunity to track a habit over the course of the whole year. So this is another Etsy printable that I got. It's actually four pages and it divides the year into quarters, but I printed all four pages on one sheet so that I could see the whole year, all 365 days. And I have two goals that I'm trying to do every day this year. I know that's really ambitious, 
and I don't want to be all or nothing about it. So if I miss a day, I'm going to keep going, of course. But I am trying to do my miracle morning every day this year. We will see what happens. But so far, I've done every day. I just like marked out the days that aren't part of this year so it would be more visually clear. But basically, I hope to have an X in every single square by the end of the year. Then I'm also doing a tracker like that for completing the activity rings on the Apple Watch. If you're familiar with that, it's just a way to track your steps, your movement, your workouts, how much you're standing versus sitting. It's a really cool technique. Let me show you. So like for instance, these are my rings for today. I have some work to do before I can check this one off. But so far I have done it every day this year and so that's very motivating to see that streak lining up. And if you have any habits like that that you're trying to tra track over the whole year, I think this is a pretty cool technique. And then of course you can also do it like on a monthly basis with just a monthly calendar. Either way, just see those X's like stacking up. And then since this is my miracle morning section, I go through this in the mornings. I also have some more kind of personal stuff back here. I have like my life mission. <laughs> I have my goals, my 2019 resolutions, and I like to read over those every morning. So moving on to the next section, this is my YouTube section. So this is everything to do with my YouTube channel. I printed another one of these year on one page trackers so that I could mark off every time I post a video. You know, I'm on a new posting schedule of Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So I'll be making X's as I go posting on those days. And then I can also track my product launches when my eBooks come out and other exciting stuff as it unfolds this year. And then I also have monthly calendars in here for the sort of the same purpose. So I write in what video I'm planning to do on which day and I put a little checkbox and I just check it off once I upload the video. Super simple, but if you have projects for work like that that you want to track, you could try a system like this. This next section is dedicated to my writing company, so I'm not going to go page through page page by page through this one because I have, you know, some private client stuff in here, but I will show you this is another printable I got on Etsy. I have to say this budget, this binder planner system has saved me so much money because I either make printables and print them myself or I download, you know, cheap printables on Etsy and print them myself and it's such a game changer. I used to spend so much money on pre-made inserts for my agendas and it honestly can really add up and it can be frustrating when you're waiting for inserts to arrive in the mail and you just feel like you can't get your life organized in the meantime. So this is something I found, it's called a project planner and it really helps you break down a bigger project into like smaller tasks, which I find is the best way to beat procrastination. If I just have one giant task on my to-do list, I will procrastinate to no end because it's so intimidating. But if I break it down into like the little steps, you know, like set up my planner, get my camera out, film the video, edit the video, upload the video. It's so much more doable. So this is a form I've been using with my writing clients. It helps me break down my writing assignments, my editing projects, and I can go more into detail on this if you guys want. I know you have a lot of questions about my company and what it's like working from home, and I'll be happy to answer those in another video. And then we're on to the last divider, which is just plain old notebook paper. And in the very back, I have a cute little Cinderella insert I made just to have something to write on more nicely. And this last thing is a little portfolio that has a copy of our budget in it. And this is the main pen that I've been using. I'm really loving this. It's by Stabilo. They make awesome pens. And this is a felt tip. I just feel like my handwriting is so much nicer with a felt tip. And it came in a little pack of like pink, purple, blue, and black. So I will link that. It's from Amazon. And that is everything in my binder. Like I said, I love her. I love her so much. She keeps me organized every single day. And it has just been a game changer for me with planning in a binder. But I still adore this little beauty. And I just can't let her go to the wayside. So this is how I use my medium-sized Louis Vuitton agenda. Um, I have a little coin purse that's looking a little worse for the wear attached to it because like I said, I use this as a wallet. If you've seen my other videos, you know I do a cash budgeting system, which means I have a lot of coins and change and I just put them in this little pouch whenever I buy something. But inside of this agenda, I currently have it decorated for the new year. This is a dashboard that I made. I have a video on how to make these and I have this file for you as a free download, so I will link that. 
And then I also have these cute clips. These are from Etsy, except for these little bow clips from my friend Lauren, so cute. And I'm going to skip over this whole front section, which is my wallet, because we have talked about this a lot. <laughs> and I have videos that flip through this um, very extensively. So if you are interested in the wallet side of things, go check out that video. I will link it in the description box below this video, along with everything else we're discussing. I'm focusing just on planners for this video, so I'm just gonna show you my little planner section in here. And what I like to keep in this is like planning on the go. So if I'm like waiting for an appointment, stuck in my car, something like that, I can do a little bit of planning because I don't always have the big Mamba Jamba binder with me, but I do always have my wallet with me. So this little thing from Etsy kind of divides wallet from planner. And the first things I have in here, I'm so obsessed with, and they are beauty inserts from Cloth and Paper. Cloth and Paper makes some really gorgeous planner inserts. And as soon as I saw she came out with these, I was like, I want those so bad. <laughs> but like I said, I've been trying to cut back on spending on planner stuff because it really can get crazy. And so I didn't get them for myself, but then for Christmas, Lauren got them for me. So thank you so much, girl. I love them, they're really fun. So this one is your makeup beauty routine. And I just filled in my current products, my favorite products, things I wanna try. I put a little star next to them. So if I'm like at Sephora, for instance, I can pop this open and see what I need to restock or what I wanna try. If you want my completely honest review on this, it's not an essential insert by any means. I think most of us kinda of know what products we use like off the top of our heads. You can always keep a list on your phone, but if you are a planner nerd and a beauty nerd like me, then this is just so much fun. It's like the intersection of everything we love and just so cool, so cute, and it just adds a little girly fun to your planner, and there's no harm in that. So it came with several sheets, and it's front and back, so you can just easily update it as your routine changes, as you find new products, etc. Then there's also skincare inserts, which again, I'm just totally freaking out over. It's like the combination of everything I love and adore. And these are weekly inserts, so you write in the dates of the week, and you put in the products that you wanna be using in the morning and at night, and you check them off as you do them. There's a little spot where you can write any results you've had, anything you've noticed. So if you're really trying to get into the habit of skincare, this could be great for you to track it. It's a really simple way to do that. Again, just like completely honest review, I am pretty addicted to my skincare, so there's very little chance of me ever skipping something. Like you can see this week, there was one day that I was tired, so all I did was like wash my face and moisturize, but even then, you know, <laughs> it still got done. But if you are new to skincare and it's kind of overwhelming, this could be a fun way to track it and kind of figure out which products you want to use. So I have my little morning routine and my night routine, and she has a very simple little list set up, and I like that. So cute little inserts. And then the only other planning I do in here is I keep blank note paper. And I will use it for like a brain dump. I will jot down just anything that comes to mind while I'm out and about that I need to take care of. Stuff for work, stuff for YouTube, stuff for life. And then when I get home, I literally just rip this page out, take it to my big binder, take it to my desk, and like handle it. <laughs> so this is like a little on-the-go space for me to get things off of my brain and onto paper. And the last thing in the way, way back of this planner, I have a card. You guys might remember... So my friend Megan makes these gorgeous cards, like by hand, she's incredible. They're so cute, and for the longest time I've had a birthday card that she made me back here. I still have that, and I still adore it, even though it was like a whole year ago. But this one she sent me for Christmas was just so pretty that I replaced the birthday card temporarily with the Christmas card. And even though Christmas is like over, I'm just not ready to part with it. So this is in here for now, and it just makes me happy. And then I also have a little um, like portfolio back here. And I keep stamps, return address labels, receipts, anything like that. As it piles up throughout the week, I stick it in this portfolio, and then on the weekends, I clean it out. And the last thing in here is my pin. I have a really small pin loop in here, and the only thing that fits is this Ted Baker. It's called the mini pin. It's kind of hard to come by, but if you can, snap it up if you have a small pin loop. It's so pretty rose gold with a little bow at the top and I just adore it. So 
that is everything in this binder, everything in my big binder, and that is my whole planning world in a nutshell. So that is the planner skinny for the Milk and Honey Life planning situation for this year as we head into 2019. I'm feeling very organized and it's <laughs> very organized, very motivated, very content and planner pieced out <laughs> and ready to just conquer this new year. And I wish that for all of you guys. I mean, I wish you the most amazing year ever, but I also wish you an extremely organized and productive one because it gives you peace of mind that you can conquer your goals without, you know, slaving away constantly because you're organized and you're in control. So I wish that for all of you. I hope you got some tips that might help with that. Definitely hit subscribe so you'll catch all my future videos to come. Do a lot of planning videos and I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So hit subscribe so you don't miss any of that goodness. Thank you so much for watching, for tuning in, and I will see you soon. Bye.